They say timing's everything. So it was that on the final day of their final summit of the year, a small bombshell was dropped on EU heads of state, a credit downgrade on the whole of the European Union from S&P. S&P is concerned the bloc might struggle to fund its budget, that some members might balk at paying their contributions. European Commission President José Manuel Barroso issued a forceful rejection. I don't know many around the world that have zero debt and zero deficit. And the record of the European Union is perfect. The ratings agency cut its AAA rating by one notch. It came as little surprise after SNP's recent downgrade on the Netherlands. Six other members already downgraded, including France. The current budget runs until 2020 with a ceiling of 1 trillion euros. Joe Rundle of ETX Capital Markets sees it as another sign of trouble ahead. The Eurozone is definitely struggling and I expect we're going to see a re-emergence of the Eurozone crisis in Q2 next year. Um, and it's really sort of uh, emphasised by the fact that Germany is doing fantastically well in Italy and the peripheries are struggling. On the main agenda for the day, the leaders were due to draft a statement on Ukraine. There was little immediate sign of economic rapprochement over Ukraine's decision to do a policy U-turn and enter a pact with Russia, even if there was moral support. European Council President Herman Van Rompuy. But the future of our relations is for the long term. We can't let that be compromised by short-term calculations, by outside pressure. It must be a free choice. EU leaders were no doubt aware that even as they met, security in the Ukrainian capital Kiev was being tightened in expectation of large protests over the weekend, while the country's president Yanukovych was taking part in a prayer for peace.